I am so excited. I've tried my best not to be biased, but as you can probably tell, I'm really digging the Rapunzel vibes right now. And I even have my Rapunzel shirt and all my Rapunzel stuff behind me because this is a good one. Hey guys, I'm Libby, Rank Master at Punzi's Palace, and we are back today for more Quarantine Queen Ranking, where we are doing our namesake today, Rapunzel. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below if you enjoy this series and other Disney content, and hit the bell icon so you know every time I upload. The ranking rules are only official Disney princesses, sorry Alice, only the original movie, and only focusing on the princess's actions. Princesses can gain and lose points based on how they follow pandemic guidelines, and the princess with the highest score at the end wins. Now let's get on to ranking Rapunzel from Tangled. So to start off, she's literally born out of magic. That's a lot of points to start off with. So this means that Rapunzel herself is literally magic. She has magic hair, but she also has like magic within her. We see this at the end of the movie. So this makes her a magical being, much like fairy godmother and like genie. So because she's a magical being, that means she gets no points deducted at all. All right, bye. I'm just kidding, that wouldn't be very fun at all, now would it? So instead, I will be deducting points when she's interacting with people, just like I did with all the other princesses, but the points that she will get deducted will be at a bit of a discount, so she won't get as many deducted as the other princesses would because she's literally magic. Cool? Cool. Now she does get some deductions because a stranger comes and steals her away from her family, but she gets some points added because this stranger tells her how terrible the outside world is and to never go outside, so it's accurate. And a few more little added points for staring so lovingly and longingly at the outside world. It's very quarantine, especially if you live in a city and you look outside and you see how bare it is or you see how not bare it is because so many people aren't listening to the rules and are going outside and are inevitably making this quarantine much longer than it needs to be. Anyway, I digress. She gets more points. And let's get this big chunk of points out of the way early. So she's been locked away in a tower for almost 18 years. So let's see, we'll say about four and a half points per year. Yep, we will be adding 81 points to her total. Also, no points off for her chameleon friend Pascal because she's been isolated with him her entire life and she never kisses him or anything. You're good, buddy. Then we see that she has also played at least 22 games of hide and seek with Pascal. That's 22 for me. How about 23 out of 45? That is quite the monotonous use of free time. Yeah, very corny. And she also tells Pascal that it isn't so bad inside and she refuses his request for them to leave the tower. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, come on, Pascal, it's not so bad in there. Also good. Then she does some major cleaning, much like Cinderella, where she does some sweeping, mopping, dusting, and laundry. Oh, and then she says she sweeps again. So very sanitary start. Also, she does this every day. Oh, and here, if you see, she's either doing dishes or washing her hands. Either way, very sanitary, more points. Also some more points for learning and gaining so many skills during her time in quarantine in the tower. Just to name a few, we have reading, specifically botany, cooking, and geology, painting, playing guitar, knitting, puzzles, darts, baking, Paper mache, ballet, playing chess, pottery, ventriloquy, candle making, and sewing. And she's not just dabbling in any of them either. She really knows how to do these things and do them very well. Yeah, good chunk of points from all of that. And she gets more points for home decorating with all of her paintings everywhere. And for also showing us her latest home decor project with her painting the lantern scene. Very nice. Also. Also, she stays active in her small little tiny tower. Carrying all that hair helps, but she also stretches, takes a climb, and she runs around her little tower doing all of these things every single day. So four points. And I should know, I did all of this. It's very exhausting. Check out that video. And you know, I also understand her wanting to do something more for her birthday this year. It makes sense since she's been doing the best with what she has there for the last 17 birthdays, but you know, 18 is a big milestone. She wants to do something really special, so I get it. Oh yeah, and let's just add astronomy to her list of hobbies that she's also picked up. Some more points for being warned about the plague because that's just... The plague, no! yes! What? Yeah. And she's also throughout the song being warned about how terrible the world is and 
it isn't wrong. And she also takes it to heart, she actually listens. But then she does have this strange man come into her tower. He's cute, I'll give her that. But he's also a thief, so he's probably not totally clean. But she does get some points for knocking him out and running away from him immediately. Good. And some more points for not initially touching him. Like when she first inspects him, I thought she, maybe she touched him. She only touches him with the frying pan. Very distant, very nice. Then she does touch him a few times when she's trying to put him into the closet. So that's not wonderful, not a good thing. And she does touch the crown, which was heavily guarded, probably cleaned a lot and only has been touched by Flynn throughout the movie so far. So not terrible just a few points off. She does keep her distance from him when he first wakes up, so that's good. But then she gets closer to him throughout this whole interrogation sequence. She's not touching him, but she's close. Oh yeah, and she sings and talks to animals. It's mostly Pascal, but still. She gets some points for that. Not as many, but some. And then she gets really close to his face to be intimidating, but not too many off here because she still is not touching him at all. She's touching the chair. And then she does leave the tower, which is fine. No points off because you're allowed to leave your house, guys, just as long as you're not interacting with people. Also, she gets some more points for feeling so liberated and free when she first leaves her tower. I know I feel the same thing anytime I go outside just to walk in my neighborhood. And I know we're all going to feel this once this whole thing is handled properly and we don't have to fear going out in public. Oh yeah, and she's barefoot throughout the entire movie, just like Pocahontas, so I'll be taking a chunk off of points here as well. Then Flynn helps her up, only touching fabric though, but he also puts his arm around her, so not too great. And she does jump on his back to avoid a bunny. So that's also not good. That's a lot of touching and very, very close to him. Ah, yes. But then she enters the snuggly duckling, which is full of ruffians and thugs, and she bumps into one of them. But she does help Flynn from getting pummeled for no apparent reason, except that they're trying to arrest him, but you can do that without hurting him. So that's good. She's avoiding the unnecessary violence and putting a stop to it. And she does put a stop to it without touching any of them. Very good. Then Hook Hand does get very close to her. He doesn't touch her, but very close. And then during the song, he puts his arm around her too, so not great. But then Big Nose Thug is also near her, and he shows her a lot of his gross medical ailments and also shoves his foot in her face, so not great. And then she also touches him and is hugged in close with him, so more points off. And then she does a jig at the end and she catches Shorty from the sky. And yeah, not awesome. Man, snuggly duckling scene is not going well for her. But a few more points for avoiding the new strangers that are there to capture Flynn. Yes, they are just the guards, but avoiding more new people that you might interact with is generally a good thing. Then she kisses Hook Hand on the cheek. So that's not great, but they are escaping down a secret tunnel, getting away from the rest of the tavern people and all of the guards, so. Very good. And a few more points for running away immediately from these strangers that are chasing you. That's good, trying to keep your distance. Flynn does touch her shoulder. It's just on fabric, but yeah. But she does an overall really good job of avoiding everybody in this damn sequence, so awesome. Also, a few points for getting trapped in a cave, very isolated. And also they get drenched with water, which I feel like is kind of like a small bath. All right, then Flynn touches her here to stop her from diving under the water because he thinks that she might hurt herself trying to find a way out. So I'm just gonna skip over this one because it's a pretty dire situation and I don't think you should get points off for helping somebody to not drown. She does wrap her hair around his injured hand, which is a little gross, but she's also healing it. And that's very nurse-like, very quarantine. Oh, and this also means that Eugene is sanitary now. He's been magic and yes, it's just his hand is completely clean, but like he did also have the small bath being drenched in water and everything. It's fine, they're, they're fine. All of her interactions with Eugene from this point on are fine. Then Mother Gothel does come and hug her and Mother Gothel hasn't really touched or interacted closely with any strangers, so she's fine. But Rapunzel has interacted with a ton of people. She's actually endangering Mother Gothel, but I'm only gonna take off a few points here because we don't like Mother Gothel. She is bad, she is mean. Rapunzel does say no to going back home to isolation and wants to continue her journey, which will inevitably make her interact with a ton more people. So that's not great either. Then the next day she does get a few points for common down Maximus so that he doesn't unnecessarily hurt Eugene. Stopping intentional pain is very good. And again, she does it without even touching him. Uh, but she does then go and pet him and hug him and cuddle with him. It's very cute, but not good considering he's an animal that's a stranger to her. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that her kingdom's name is Corona? 
Yes, some obvious points for that. Big yikes. Uh, she goes into a crowd full of people and then she has people stepping on her hair and then she also bumps into a lot of the people in the kingdom and then she has these little girls braid her hair and not too much off for the little girls braiding her hair since they're only touching her hair and her hair is magical. This is only to keep it off the ground, which is actually pretty nice and pretty sanitary for her, but yeah, good chunk of points deducted here. And even more points off for then going and dancing and grabbing a bunch of people to join in the dance and that's just that's just the whole dance sequence it's not great for her but during the sequence we do see her and eugene hiding from the guards so a few points for avoiding some people and she is also alone with him in a library learning some new skills some new knowledge about the world and they're alone a few more points there and then a few more points for isolating themselves completely away from the entire kingdom who is gathering for the lantern celebration and instead being in a boat in the middle of the lake by the kingdom very nice then a few minus points for letting the Stabbington brothers get so close to her, but she does get some points back because she runs away from them. Again, another few points off for hugging Mother Gothel because Rapunzel was interacting with all the people in the kingdom, but not that much because we do not like Mother Gothel. I mean, I love her as a villain. She's a great villain. And sadly, she earns some more points for going back to her tower of isolation. A few more points for her spirit of not wanting to stop fighting. I won't stop! For every minute of the rest of my life, I will fight! It's admirable. It's also very easy to give up right now. When nothing's working in your favor and it seems like there's nothing you can do about anything, but you must keep fighting. It's not about how many times we're kicked down. It's about how many times we're able to still get back up. Also a few more points for trying to heal Eugene again. Oh, and she also gets a dramatic haircut. Very nice. And then some more points for actually healing Eugene. Oh, and Eugene is like extra clean now with all this new magic since it went inside of him and burst out in a really cool way. And also we see that the magic is actually inside of Rapunzel this entire time. So she's magic inside and out, hair or no hair. So yeah. Then we see her reunite with her parents and she gets some minus points for hugging them so closely because they are strangers to her. Even though they are king and queen and probably pretty clean and pretty isolated, they are still strangers that she has never met before. But the reunion is just so cute and wholesome. And to end it, a few more points for interacting with this little girl who's a stranger to Rapunzel and being near this giant crowd of people. So our girl Rapunzel, her grand total is 138 points. Holy Corona. She blew this competition out of the water. I love her. It helps that she was isolated for 18 years and learned so many new hobbies and is really very clean and also a magical being. All right, that means that Rapunzel, my girl, has taken first place away from Cinderella. Will any of the other upcoming princesses challenge Rapunzel for the crown? Stay tuned. I have a feeling one princess will come very close. Congratulations to everyone who guessed the positioning correctly, like Brittany Wilbur and Angela Jenkins. But a special shout out to Matt from Teacup for One for guessing the position correctly and only being one point off on her total score. He also understood that she would get a good amount of points from being quarantined for her whole life and basically being magic. So great job. Our next princess is Merida from Brave. Should be interesting since there's also a lot of magic in this movie, but there's also a lot of bears. Anyway, leave a comment down below with your guess on how many points she'll end up with in the end and what her final ranking will be. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you enjoy this series and other Disney content. Until next time, farewell.